Hello everyone, my name is Mesa Sermon, and welcome back for more Let's Play Ukulele. Hello everyone, my name is Mesa Sermon, and welcome back for more Let's Play Ukulele. Last time, we basically finished up most of the backtracking worlds. We're done with Moody Maze Marsh, we're basically done with all the main worlds. Except for a couple miscellaneous things, which is why I'm starting off in the middle of this cave here in Glitter Glaze Glacier. Uh, I did not feel like spending 400 years looking for this. I would have been here literally all day. Now that that's done... Alright, um, I guess our next destination here is over by the entrance to Tribal Stack Tropics here. Um, we looked at this a little bit ago, but yes, we did not have the necessary tools for this. Ah, uh, that was not what we meant to do there. Um, ah, uh, wherever the fudge it is, there we go. There's just a pagey that we basically go through the fire and flames in order to get. Pretty simple stuff, all things considered. Alright, heading back to Shipwreck Creek here, because there is some stuff we can now get here. Um, such as... I can find it here. Yes, up here. I misjudged that there, but as far as I know, we can just fly up this way. Yes, there is in fact a health extension up this way. I'll be honest, I did look at a guide for a lot of these remaining things here because... I don't care, honestly. This Let's Play has been going on for so long as it is that I've kind of stopped caring about... ...how long some of these things kind of go on for. And speaking of, there should be a pagey flying around. Yes, here it is. That was a pretty easy one to miss, but we wouldn't have had this ability last time we were here, so I can see why that one was pretty easy to miss there. And with that... Let's head back into the tower itself now. I think most of the remaining things we're all missing are kind of in the last, like, big open area, so we'll probably make our way back there now. Alright, so outside Hivery Towers here, um, you may have noticed or may have remembered that there was this area over here. We weren't able to do anything here before, but uh, we now have a shield that can definitely help us along here, so that's very nice. We have to be wary of our stamina, and I probably shouldn't have missed that one butterfly there. Or, actually, it doesn't matter. Pretty easy pagey, all things considered. I don't know why I let go of that there, but I just kind of did. Alrighty then. Um, I did also switch my tonic around to the fast MP restoration, just because... MP restoration is this Final Fantasy now, but... Um... I don't know, I just thought that this was probably a more fitting thing to have for right now, so... I don't think an ability that shows us where, like, secrets are is probably going to be that helpful right now, so... Oh, I'm a fool here. Didn't realize there was honey here this whole time. I kind of assumed so, considering it seems like it's the logical thing to need for that, but whatever. 
Um, but yeah, I'm back in uh, Galleon Galaxy to take this little tiny detour here because... This is where the skull in the world is. I kind of thought I might have had this one, but I guess not. Um... I'm not too sure... I'm not too sure where Boats in the world it is. Um, I want to say it's on top of one of these planets, but I could be wrong about that. Which, again, is a very obscure spot for one of these things to be at. But then again, when aren't these things in very obscure locations? Shoot. Ah, dang it. I didn't want to fly down here. Alright, I just looked it up. It was apparently the bottom right planet, which I guess does give the right path some credence. Yeah, I think I see it off in the distance here. Uh, who is going to find this crap on their own, though? I've said that before about this world, but man, this is like some obscure ass level hidden secret here. Yeah, I see the thing now, but Jesus. That now should be every single skull in the game there. Um, I found the ones in Capital Casino and, uh, um, Travel Sack Tropics on my own there. And the other ones we did just get in the recent videos, so. Yeah, that should be... All those now, thankfully. I don't know if they ever unlock anything. Probably not in the Switch version anyway, because there's not really achievements in this game. But there's probably like a achievement on Steam or Xbox or trophy on PlayStation for those. I have no idea, man. Anyways. There should only be a couple more things left in this area here. This way here makes me think this is like the end of the game area. I don't really want to go that close to that right now. That's just the wind tunnel there. Oh man. It's funny me mentioning the word wind tunnel there. I've been I've been rewatching a lot of Inuyasha this year because I don't know if I've ever really mentioned it too much on videos, but that was a show I watched all the time when I was younger, like when I was maybe 9 or 10, which was probably too young to really be watching a show like that, but I didn't really care. I thought it was... I was an imp easily impressionable kid, and I thought the show was pretty awesome back in those days, and I, I think it still holds up personally, but I'm also just a sucker for, like, really, really cheesy stuff, so... Like, the cheese of that doesn't really bother me too much. But, yeah, it's definitely been fun to kind of sit back and... Especially because I never really got to see, like, a lot of the earlier parts of it. By the time I started watching it, it was kind of, like, more than halfway over. Just because, you know, I was a kid watching whatever was on cable TV, so... Or satellite in my case, I guess. But, yeah, like, I didn't really have access to, like being able to just watch from whenever, I guess. I think it is pretty impressive, like, kind of how far we've come in that kind of... time and that kind of technology there. Okay, so what am I doing in this area? I never really explored here too much. Oh, that line there, I was actually reading up on this, uh, Capital B mentions that there, that's a random reference to Croc Legend of the Gobbles there, which is a really odd, like, thing for this game to reference. Talking about a lizard whose franchise didn't exactly last very long.
I mean, he's not wrong. Croc didn't really last very long, so... Oh, hello. This is something here. A lot of fall damage. I think I see what we can do here. Uh, gotta love... Gotta love book dominoes. <laughs> Alright, there should be one more pagey left for us to find here. Let's see if we can find it here now. So yeah, it seems like there's so many obstacles we can just kind of all avoid here. Aha, here we go. Yeah, there's just a secret little tunnel up this way, and... I see what we got here. We got balloons, and... Oh, I see what we got here. I see what we got here. Mm. There's an eye. That's an annoying enemy. Shoot. Is it just the colored balloons we're aiming for here? Refill my energy here. Thought I got the eye there, but whatever. Where's the G? Uh, really, that counts as water, not. Dang it. This sucks. Can I just take these hits, please? Because I don't want to be freaking... For God's sake. This sucks. Probably can't run fast enough to get these things. That's the biggest kick in the kick in the wrist about this sort of thing. Mm, that G is really far off there. Okay, got it. Nice. This, my friends, is the last page in the game. What a U-turn indeed. That is... Us getting a new tonic for our troubles there. Next time on Ukulele, I can't guarantee it'll be the last video or not. We came so close to 50 videos of this Let's Play, which is kind of wild. I was not expecting this game to be as long as it was, but... Next time, I think we'll pay everyone else a visit and... Or by that, I mean pay Vendi a visit, and we will... Make our way to Dr. Qu uh, Dr. Quack, uh, make our way to Capital B once and for all there. I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.